Right, this is video number four in a series of videos where we're building a tank battle game in Unity uh, for Android mobile devices. <coughs> in this video, what we're going to do is uh, continue with our uh, tank controls and we're going to enable it to uh, turn or rotate uh, left and right. In the previous video we uh, enabled our tank to move uh, forwards and backwards uh, as I can show here and we uh, enabled that uh, with both the on-screen uh, buttons here and also using a keyboard okay the W and S keys or the arrows okay <coughs> good so in this video we're going to continue and we're going to uh, now uh, connect uh, these two buttons the left and the right to the script uh, which is attached to the, uh, the the tank here the chieftain tank and <coughs> also what we're going to do uh, is uh, again uh, enable us to control this uh, using the keyboard keys uh, the same as with uh, forward and backward movement good so first thing we need to do is uh, go to our player tank uh, drive script which we made in the previous video and we're going to now uh, expand this script uh, to enable movement uh, left and right so <coughs> uh, for those of you who have not watched the previous video uh, and are not sure what's happening in this script then please uh, watch the previous video video 3 uh, where we explain uh, what is um, happening in this script and why we uh, put it together this way good so in this uh, in this uh, script now we're going to uh, create another uh, public float uh, which is going to be uh, the rotation speed okay because effectively for a tank um, if you uh, if you have a tank uh, stable and you uh, literally you can turn you can rotate the tank like on the spot okay all right so we're going to refer to the left and right movement as a, as a rotation okay and I've set the speed of that at 10 uh, it's public so you'll be able to change that over here in the editor in the same way as you did with speed next thing we did is we create another public static float called left right uh, we made it uh, public static so that we can access this float uh, this left right uh, from outside of this script okay and <clears throat> uh, that's useful because uh, you know in the future in the game uh, we may need to know whether the uh, tank is uh, turning left or right or forward and back and if so or if not then we can do something else so uh, I've made these uh, forward and back and left and right floats accessible from outside of this script in case we need them okay here are uh, two more balls okay um, left right false and okay so now we have uh, four of these and they're all set to false okay we move down uh, we need uh, something to connect uh, some functions to connect these buttons to and I've added here two more public functions or voids and one is if you this left one is going to be connected to this left button so when you press this it will set left to true and the right one will be connected to this one so when you press this right button uh, right will become true okay <clears throat> in update I have now uh, uh, 
given this us the ability here to uh, get the values from the A and D keys, the horizontal or the left and the right arrows, so that we can control this tank using our keyboard as well. This is useful when we're developing because it means that it just makes life a lot easier. Okay, good. So <clears throat> just to remind, uh, this, uh, this horizontal uh, refers to in here edit project settings input there are lots of different types of input and you've got horizontal and vertical what we're using and here are your keys a d s and w okay so by referencing this horizontal and vertical uh, you can um, yeah use your keyboard okay good so <clears throat> here we have uh, back in our script here so this basically says okay uh, receive any values from those keys multiplied by the rotation speed okay and times time with delta time now notice here that I didn't just use speed uh, because we may have a situation where we have a different kind of tank and it, it's, it, it, it can't, it, you know, it's very slow turning, all right? So the forward and backward speed and the rotation speed might not necessarily be the same. Uh, so we're just creating that flexibility by creating a, a, a float for, uh, for just for rotation, all right? So for here, we have uh, left, right is equal to value from horizontal um, and times of rotation speed times time to delta time. Now, uh, as before, if, <clears throat> if we use our buttons on our uh, screen over here, uh, the value from these buttons will override any value that's coming from these okay and uh, for example here if it says okay uh, left right is here it takes the value of uh, one okay it then sets uh, here left right okay if left is true it sets it to uh, minus one okay so it can it can override because it's it's further down it's further down the um the script okay so to speak all right so this means that okay uh, we can use the keyboard or we can use uh, the buttons right? so here it says uh, if left right is true ie uh, sorry if left is true okay uh, because this has been uh, activated this forward by this left button okay uh, then left right equals minus one and if right is true okay, if someone presses the right button activates this function so it's right to true then left right equals one okay so <clears throat> next thing is uh, we need to go to fixed update because we need to make a function which is actually going to rotate the tank. So at the moment, all we're doing is sending uh, a number over to this uh, script, okay, uh, between zero and one or zero and minus one, um, but it's not actually moving anything yet. So now we need to move it, do something with this number. So we uh, have a uh, function here called tank rotate left and right. Okay, and doesn't need to be pro uh, public because we're using it inside this script. And all this does is basically uh, we set a quaternion, all right, called rotate left, right. Okay, and then we uh, say so, okay we are going to uh, the value of uh, left right we're going to rotate it on this axis okay and we are going to rotate the rigid body which is RB tank okay here let's 
we got this rigid body at the start the tank has a rigid body okay and uh, as with uh, as before with the tank forward and backward we said RB move position here we're saying RB that move rotation and the rotation is the rotation of the tank multiplied by rotate LR okay excuse me so here we have um, the last part that we need to add which is switch balls off okay so uh, what we need to do is because we are setting the value of these balls to true when we press these buttons uh, we need a way of turning them off otherwise eventually they'll all be set to true and the vehicle will be trying to um, turn left and right and go forwards and back at the same time and that means it won't go anywhere okay so every time that we take our finger off of this uh, button we're going to set all of the balls to false okay so this kind of makes makes it says okay I'm, I'm going forwards take my finger off there and I'm going to press backwards okay it sets all the forwards it sets everything to zero so right okay we're going backwards now okay we're going left now okay we're going right now okay that's the logic of that now with the keyboard yeah get access vertical it's sending over a value okay that value is going to be between minus one and one all right so if there's no if there's no pressure on the uh, keyboard then the value of uh, zero all right so that again once again it's not gonna it's not gonna move all right so that's the way of stopping continuous movement so let's save this script now it does take a little while uh, to update this lot all right so need to be patient file saved okay and uh, while we're doing that we will uh, have a look now what we need to do next and what we need to do is to join these buttons the left and the right buttons to the functions in our script okay good so here is the player tank drive script updated and as you can see we now have a a public float or value that we can change in here the rotation speed so depending upon what tank you have uh, you might have a very fast tank that can't turn very fast or a very slow tank that's really great at, at, at turning so you you can change these however you wish depending on which tank uh, model you're using all right so next thing we need to do is we need to join these buttons to this script so as we did in the previous video where we made these buttons we have a button left and a button right now these buttons uh, use something called the event trigger and uh, we have uh, one here which says pointer down which means when the pointer is down when this button is pressed down do something and then when the pointer is up i.e. when we release this button do something else in the same way as the forward and the back buttons uh, we're going to run when we press it down we're going to run the forward function or in our case now the left function and then when we release the button we're going to switch the balls off all right set them all to false again so using that principle we're going to go plus and plus and the script we want to access is attached to our tank so we will drag the tank into there look for the script and we want left okay uh, once again drag the tank into there and when we release this button 
we want it to switch all the balls off and set them all to false okay good and again with the right one okay so right and good so we have now four buttons and they're all connected to uh, this script which is attached to our tank okay uh, so what we're going to do is file save scene okay and then we're going to press play and we're going to see if these are working okay so we have forward and back and now we have left and right okay so we've got a tank now which is now able to move okay however you wish okay it's quite fast this tank but it's able to go up hills it behaves in a way that a tank should it's using uh, the physics the physics engine okay it's a little bit fast it's taking it's okay so let's look at the, the we can adjust that speed uh, on here okay so we can make the tank slower or faster but we'll leave it at 10 for now okay so let's check if the keyboard's working well yep forward works backward works left works right works and you probably noticed that uh, it's a lot smoother using the keyboard okay um what you could do is you could actually turn down instead of giving like for example here in this script instead of giving uh, using the buttons the value of minus one or one which is basically flat out full power you could maybe say 0 0.5 or something like that right but they're just little ways that you can tune up you can tune 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 this up all right so okay also uh, it's possible uh, to make the if we look at the tracks when we're moving along at the moment okay use the keyboard now uh, moving along here we can see the tracks uh, because we have fixed wheels and tracks okay the tracks are not moving all right and and in our mobile game you know we really would like to even though we don't have uh, the the um, flexible uh, suspension and wheels and and um, tracks uh, of other games, uh, we can at least give the impression that the tracks are moving. Okay, and that's what we're going to do in the next video. So. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you learned something and uh, hope your tank's moving around as it should. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up if you like the video and see you in the next video.